Good morning friends, I am Dr. Priyanka Priyadarshini. I am a consultant gynecologist working in Kolkata. So today we are going to uh, hear and discuss about uh, cesarean section and certain myths regarding cesarean section. Okay, so before going into that, we will try to learn how and where the baby is. So basically, baby is inside the womb. The womb is the uterus which is inside the abdomen. Okay, so when the baby grows, the baby grows in the bag which is a balloon, bag of water. Uh, it is just like a balloon and which is inside the uterus and the uterus is inside the abdomen. Okay, so there are two methods by which we can deliver the baby. One is through the vaginal route when the baby comes out by through the vagina. Another is when we uh, take out the baby through the abdomen. So when we take it through the abdomen, that is known as the cesarean section. Okay, so uh, when we do the cesarean section, we cut the layers of the abdomen, which is the skin, what we can see from outside. When we go into the abdomen, then there is the uterus. You, after that, we have to also cut the uterus and there we will find the balloon. So when we cut the balloon, there will be liquid which will come out and we will find the baby. Now we take out the baby and we hand it over to the pediatrician present in the operation theatre. Afterwards is the placenta and certain membranes which are present along with the baby. So after taking out the afterwards, we uh, suture the uterus. Okay. So as we went inside to take out the baby, we will have to suture them from inside to outside. That is the uterus will be closed in two layers and then we will close the abdomen in layers. Usually the skin is sutured by subcuticular sutures or we can also give by mattress sutures. Okay. So this is uh, about cesarean section and I would also like to address certain myths which were associated with cesarean section. So first thing is the pain during the procedure. Madam, khub batha hawe. So pain, actually the procedure is uh, done under anesthesia. It might be a general anesthesia or regional anesthesia. General anesthesia, when the whole body, the person, uh, when, when the mother will not be able to understand anything, that is general anesthesia. Spinal or regional anesthesia, when uh, the part just below the waist will be anesthetized. So the mother will not feel pain, but she will be conscious. When we take out the baby, we also show to the mother the uh, her baby. So during the procedure, since there is anesthesia, so she will never feel a bit of pain uh, during the procedure. So the anesthesia will wane off after 3-4 hours of giving the anesthesia and after that she will be able to move her legs and move about also. Okay, this is first. Second is when can we resume our work after the uh, caesarean section. Some people ask me that if they underwent caesarean section then maybe that they will not be able to move about, they have to take more rest. Although you know, they have to take rest but then it is a myth that they have to take prolonged period of rest. No, we usually want our patients to move about in the second day itself. We remove the catheter and we want them to move. And gradually, the pain gradually subsides by about 5 to 7 days and she can resume her work. Although we ask them not to do heavy exercise and heavy work, but they can do their usual household works or uh, after 7 to 10 days. Third uh, myth is the scar. Will it be very, very ugly? Usually, nowadays when we do a cesarean section, we uh, put the scar below, uh, much below the umbilicus, just above the symphysis pubis, which is very below and it is also known as bikini line. So even if you wear a bikini, then also the scar is usually not visible. So the scar will be very thin and it will be around 5, 7 to 10 centimeters long and it is usually nowadays we give subcuticular sutures. So the scar is almost uh, not visible. Or if it is visible, it will be very uh, cosmetic. Fourth thing is about the food and the precautions they don't, uh, they have to take. The food is almost the same as we prescribe for vaginal delivery. And uh, regarding the period of rest, uh, they have to rest for around 5 to 7 days. And after that, we allow them mobility. They should move around. 
and uh, after the procedure they should move around and they can resume their activity after 10 days or so and heavy activity should be started after only after uh, 2 months.